How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? As you get ready to listen to this upcoming episode from the Playmakers Vlog Podcast, I just want to let you know that you too can get into the podcast journey. It's very simple. It's very easy. All you got to do is jump on Anchor, the one-star shop for a recording, hosting, and distributing your podcast. It is 100% free and easy to use. And even with Anchor, you can get great sponsors who want to advertise your podcast. That means you can get paid for your podcast right away from Jump Street. So, in fact, reading this ad is what I'm doing right now. So, if you had the time, if you had the wood and determination and the dream to be a podcaster, what you waiting for? Jump on it. Anchor is the way to go. You ready? I'm ready. The Playmakers Bar Podcast present Hoops Talk, hosted by Darnell, the playmaker, silence. NBA, college basketball. Playoffs, Mars Madness. No matter what, we talking hoops, man. Let's get it. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your Tuesday's edition of Who's Talk? Brought to you by the Playmakers Bar Podcast, hosted by your boy Donna the Playmakers Sounds out here in Jacksonville, Florida. How y'all doing on this Tuesday, April 27, 2021? We are just a couple of days away from the month of May, which means we are just a week or two away from the playing tournament and then the playoffs. So we're getting closer and closer to the fun. Now, in today's episode, we have we have recapped two streaks that have ended on last night. Two streaks ended on last night. Uh, Steph Curry, even though he's he's not on his thirty point winning uh, thirty point streak again, he's still having a stupid behind month of April. Recap what took place over the weekend. You know, take a look at some standings and see how the play in tournament is looking right about now. Because pretty much everybody's focused on the play-in tournament and not really nothing else because it's the play-in tournament, then the playoffs. So the play-in tournament is the, begins on the 18th and then the playoffs is the 22nd. So that's four days in between. So it's, it's, we're we, we going to get there. We're going to get there. But without further ado, let's dive into what took place over the weekend. Starting from Friday, back on Friday, April 23rd, we had the... Atlanta Hawks without Trey Young take down the Miami Heat 118-103. Kendra Nunn led the Heat with 21 points. Butler had 19 and 7 assists. Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson. Y'all know every time I put them two names together, you know it's not a good thing. Combined for 29 points, shooting 10 for 23 from the field. I believe that was like four for like 15 from three points. Matter of fact, let me, let me go back and find it. Let me go back and find it. Because uh, it's like one, it's like they seem like they're getting it with a big window against Brooklyn. I watched that game. And then they have games like this against Atlanta. And you're just looking at it like. Am I, they, they, had, they didn't have Trey Young. There was no Trey Young for the Hawks. Bar down by Donovan went off for the Hawks with 21 points. And eight assists. Collins had 20 points and eight rebounds. It was like, let's see. They were four for 15 from three point range. That would be Duncan Robinson and Tyler Hero. Four for 15 from three point range. Is it, are we getting to the point is like, we're not going to see the Miami team that we're looking for? We're just not going to see the Miami team that we're looking for. Are we, are we getting to that point? Because I think that's what it is. You only got a couple of weeks left before it's time to for the playoff. Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson haven't really been showing up this season. They had their spurt, but it hasn't been consistent. When they was in the bubble, we, we knew about these two. These two showed it every night this season. I don't know. But anyway. Matter of fact, the Hawks didn't even have Clint Compelli either for this game. No Trey Young, no can complain, and they still beat y'all. That's a damn shame. Real damn shame. Anyway, moving on. 
the Brooklyn Nets. I believe sweep the Boston Celtics. 104 to 109 to 104 back on Friday. I think that was a season sweep for the Brooklyn Nets over Boston. Not a good thing if you're a Boston. Not a good thing if you're Boston. Jason Tatum, 38 points, 10 rebounds. Peyton Pritchard came off the bench with 22 points. No Jalen Brown in that game. I remember that game. No Jalen Brown. No Jalen Brown. But as we knew, Kevin Durant didn't play for the next. James Harden didn't play. I believe Kyrie played. But it wasn't about Kyrie. It wasn't about Kyrie. Yes, Kyrie did play, but it wasn't about Kyrie. It was about Joe Harris. 20 points. 4 to 7 from 3 point range. 6 of 12 on the field. Kyrie D had good numbers though. 15, 15 points, 9 rebounds, 11 assists. Kyrie's more, more of a distributor on this one. Which he can do! He can be a point guard if he wants to! But he likes scoring the freaking rock. But if Kyrie. Look! He had 11 assists and only scored 15 points! If Kyrie wants to be a two point guard, he can be. He just have to have the willingness to be it. So yes, season sweep for the Brooklyn Nets over Boston back on Friday. Also on Friday we had Steph Curry, who was coming off his in his streak ending at eleven for thirty points against the Wizards Friday night. They came back home to the to the Bay Area to take on the Denver Nuggets and. Uh, they put one on the Nuggets. They really put one on Nuggets Friday night. 118-97. Yogis did not have a good game. Yogis only had 19 points, 6 boards, and 6 assists. It was the Michael Porter show for the Denver Nuggets. 26 points with 5 boards. But Steph Curry went back to scoring 30. 32 points. 8 boards. 11 from 18 from the field. 4 from 9 on 3. Draymond Green, he only scored two points, but guess what? It don't matter. He had 12 boys and 19 assists. Draymond Green, 19 assists. When the last time you had a Ford go for 19 assists? Anybody? Anybody? Any of my who talk fans out there, any of my basketball fans out there, let me know the last time we seen a Ford. I mean, small Ford, power Ford. Go for a 19 assists in the game. Let me know. Please let me know. Please, I'm all, I'm all about historical facts. I mean, let me know. Please, because I don't remember it. I don't think you know it. I don't remember seeing it even one time. I don't even think LeBron James went for 19 assists in the game. I could be wrong. Somebody, please. If LeBron James went for 19 assists in the game, somebody show me that game. Show me the stats. I don't even think LeBron James went for 19 assists in the game. Give Draymond Green his due. Yes, he yeah, he can be a hothead. He can be a tyrant he wants to be. But damn it, he ain't trying to score. He trying to do whatever he need to do for the team to win. 19 assists at the power forward position. Told you he'll do whatever it takes to win. Shout out to Draymond Green. And then the final game on Friday night. We had the Memphis Grizzlies up in Portland. We take on the Portland Trail Blazers. The Memphis Grizzlies took it 130 to 28. The 128. John Morant, 33 points, 5 boys, 13 assists. Dylan Brooks added 25. Good to see Jan Jackson Jr. back. It's been a, I know he's been back for a while, but I never got the chance to talk about him. It's great to see him back from that ACL injury. Now he's back. He came up the bench and dropped 23 points. Damian Lillard, 27, 5 assists. New York gets 26 points, 17 boys, 5 assists. CJ McCullough had 22 points, 9 rebounds, 7 assists. Bad loss for the Portland Trailblazers. Good win for the Memphis Grizzlies. Bad loss for the Portland Trailblazers. Bad loss. That's a bad loss. We'll get to the same. Saturday's results. The Chicago Bulls and Miami Heat got to get it for one or two games. Miami Heat took game one. 106 to 101. Four Miami Heat players scored over 20 points. Duncan Robinson, seven threes. Now, just a few minutes ago, I was getting on Duncan Robinson because him and Tyler Hero 
then shoot the ball away against the Hawks. They came home and shot the ball away against the Bulls. Seven three-pointers from Duncan Robinson for 23 points. That's what we need, Mr. Robinson. Tyler Hero, you get in the action as well. Miami can still be Miami. Yes, you don't have Jerry Crowder. Yes, you lost him, but, but Miami can still be Miami if Duncan Robinson and Tyler Hero do what they do. I, I just need, I just, I just hate when teams don't look like the team they should be. I hate it. Anyway, we had the San Antonio Spurs head down to the Big East to take on the New Orleans Pelicans on Saturday night, and they took that one ten one away. DeMar DeRozan, 32 points, 7 points of assists to lead the way. The Toronto Raptors went against the New York Knicks, and the New York Knicks took them down 120 to 103. Julius Randle, 31 points. Tim Boyd, I, that streak was pushed to 9, I believe, on that night. Yes, the New York Knicks streak was pushed to nine on that night with the win over Toronto Raptors. Also on Saturday, we had Philadelphia versus the Milwaukee Bucks on Saturday. And the Milwaukee Bucks beat them down 132 to 94. Good gracious. I mean, did, did Joel and B take, take the night off or something? Did Ben Simmons still ain't ready to return? I know Tobias Harris had returned. I'm looking at him. No, there was no Joel Embiid. Joel Embiid did not play. Ben Simmons did not play. Tobias Harris did play. And they got beat down. Giannis is under the Kupo, 24 points, 14 boards, 7 assists, but he didn't really do much there. But then, I don't buy that can really match up with that. So, Milwaukee did what he's supposed to do. Beat him down. Send him home packing. And then, round two of the Lakers and Dallas. AD had returned. I believe it was a Thursday night for the Lakers against Dallas, and Dallas took that one. Dallas took this one on Saturday night, 108 to 93. Um, too bad, too bad. Davis came back, and you're already on two. With Davis back, so question is, when does LeBron come back? Let's shall see. When does LeBron come back? Because they gonna need some help. the right power led the way with 25 points. Nine boards for the Dallas Mavericks. Not even, not even Luca left. Luca, Luca had what? Eighteen points, eight boards, and thirteen assists. Luca took a step back. Dwayne Finney Smith had a twenty-one points and seven boards. So that's a, that's a that's a big three for Dallas right there. But let's see, Anthony Davis, seventeen points in twenty-eight minutes, five for nineteen shooting. So he's still he's still struggling. He's still trying to get his legs back. Yeah, Ben McElmore dropping 20 points. Oh, matter of fact, let's see. Marcus Harrell didn't play for Contavious Carver. Well, Poe didn't play. Yeah. Yeah. I guess he's trying to get guys healthy before the, before the, the, the end stretch coming. And then finally on Saturday night, Minnesota took down the Utah Jack. Yes, I'm going to say it again. The Minnesota Timberwolves took down the Utah Jack. Minnesota Timberwolves beat the Utah Jazz. One on one, 96. Carl Anthony Towns, 24 points, 12 boards. Jazz don't listen. Jazz not listen to kids like that, man. Hold on. It ain't the only game that they lost. Hold on. We go to Sunday's results. Boston Celtics took one on the chin at Charlotte, 125 to 104. Four Hornets. Score over 20 points for the Charlotte Hornets, led by Devontae Graham. University of Kansas. I'm sorry, I said Kansas University. 24 points, 9 assists. Boston dropped a couple of games already. Ooh. The Phoenix Suns, the Phoenix Suns, the Phoenix Suns were in Brooklyn Sunday to take on the Brooklyn Mets, and uh, the Brooklyn Mets took that one. That was the return of Kevin Durant. 128 to 119. Kyrie Irving, 34 points, 6 rebounds, 12 assists. Kevin Durant, 33 points, 6 rebounds. And I believe Kevin Durant came off the bench. If I remember, I think Kevin Durant came off the bench that game. I believe they had Kevin Durant come off the bench. Even though Devin Booker dropped 36 points, 
That wasn't enough. Brooklyn's just too much. Yeah, Kevin Durant came off the bench. Kevin Durant came off the bench in that game. They had they let they let Jeff Green start in place of Kevin Durant. Which is not a bad move, by the way. Your best score is coming off the bench, which is ridiculous. <laughs> Never heard of it, but hey. And then it was round two in Portland, Oregon. Memphis Grizzlies and the Portland Trail Blazers. Memphis took that one. 120 to 113. Two and, that's a clean Portland sweep right there for the Memphis. 2 0. <laughs> Morant, 28 points. Eight boys. So back to back losses for the Blazers and back to back good wins for the, for the Grizzlies, man. Man, I can't wait to look at these standings, man. I really can't. I need to look at these standings. Milwaukee took the trip to Atlanta after they beat Philly, and Atlanta took them down 111 to 104. And like I said, no Trey Young for the Atlanta Hawks. These dudes are winning without Trey Young. Giannis, 31 points, 14 boards. Chris Middleton, 23 points, 6 boards. Drew Holiday, 19 points, 5 boards, 11, 11 assists. I mean, y'all have to touch him. Oh, that's because Bardon Donovan is getting hot. 32 points, 6 of 11 from 3, 12 for 21 from the field. Kenneth Capella came back in and scored six points, but he had 14 boards. It is the Bob Donovan show in the, in the ATL right now. And this was against the team that he was supposed to get traded to from Sacramento, and he turned it, and he refused to get traded. Though. Bob Donovan built some type of way towards, towards the Bucks, towards Milwaukee. I'm just saying. That was Sunday's result. Then we get to last night. Oh, last night. This is where the rubber meets the road. Last night. The Chicago Bulls was still in Miami after they lost game one. But they took game two from the Heat. Went 10 and 102. Mikhail Vucevic, 24 points, 11 boards. Daniel Tice, 23 points, 12 rebounds to lead the Bulls. Both centers had their way with the Heat. Uh... Bam, where are you? Was 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 Bam playing or did Bam take a take it out? Because uh yeah. Butovich is a center. Daniel Tice is a center. The Bulls are playing two centers. And they had their way with the Miami Heat. They had their way with the Miami Heat. Bam might have bought you 23 points, six boards. You need more boards from Bam. Bam need to get inside and get busy. He didn't get busy. Butler had 33 points and eight boards with five assists. Oof. Duncan Robinson, three points, one for seven. One for seven. Tyler Hero didn't play. Kendrick Nunn didn't play. Andre Iguodala didn't play. Hmm. No worry when all the depots coming back, but we'll look forward to that. Ah, uh, the San Antonio Spurs was in the D.C. capital to take on the Wizards, who was on a eight-game winning streak. 146 to 143, the San Antonio Spurs took down the Wizards in overtime. DeMar DeRozan, 37 points, 10 assists. Devontae Murray, 25 points, 17 rebounds, 5 assists. And the Washington Wizards win streak ends at 8. I must say, there's some winning streaks going on, but all good things, all good things come to an end. Shout out to the Wizards. They have learned how to win. They have fought their way into the play-in. Things can happen at any given moment now. But San Antonio. Shout out to San Antonio. Craig Pop is like the best coach in the NBA. Man, yeah, Quinn Snyder, Monte Williams, and Tom Thibodeau, they fighting for coach of the year. Rightfully so, and deservedly so. But when we're talking best coach in the NBA, it's Craig Popovich. Who does who who does he have that we actually know? We know about the modern rules. We most people don't know about Devontae Murray. Patty Mills is still on the team, but people really don't know about Patty Mills like that. The Marcus Roger, he retired after he was with the Nets for like a couple of games. I mean, who 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 do the Spurs have that you know that jumps off your page? Besides the Marta Rosen. Nobody. And yet Greg Popovich is still in the hunt for the playoffs. Right now, they're in the playing spot. Greg Popovich has no has to coach the game of basketball. And yes, I am a Greg Popovich win, so you want to call me back? I don't give a crap. 
I love Greg Popovich. He's the best coach in the NBA. Now, let's get off my soapbox. Oh, it was another street. We were talking about that. And it, Madison Square Garden. The New York Knicks hosted the Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns. And the Phoenix Suns took down the New York Knicks 118-110. Devin Booker, 33 points. Chris Paul, 20 points. Five boys, six assists. And one dagger three-pointer that put the game over. A dagger three-pointer that said, Knicks, y'all, nine-game running streak is done. Shout out to Chris Paul for being for being cold-blooded. I would not lose this game. Y'all Street would not go to 10 on my watch. Chris Paul said no. Shout out to the Phoenix Suns. Sadly, I'm pretty sure it's sad that the streak ended. I'm sorry, Nick Russell. But all good things I come to an end. But guess what, though, man? The New York Knicks is fourth in the East right now. I'm still going to get the Suns, but the New York Knicks are fourth in the East. I'm just saying. This team is going to make the playoffs. It, they going to make the playoffs. Now, how well do they do in the playoffs? We shall see. This is in this game. Julius Randle did not have a good game. 18 points on six boards. Six, six for 17 from the field. Not a good game for Julius Randle. You know, Derrick Rose laid away off the bench with 22 points. So, it was... You you knew this type of game was going to happen. We knew this type of game was going to happen with Steph Curry when he went up against the Wizards. We didn't think it was going to come against the Wizards, but we knew that type of game was going to come. Hey, it is what it is. So, yes, the Washington Wizards Street ended at 8. The New York Knicks Street ended at 9. But we're not done. The Utah Jazz, after losing to Minnesota at home, they went to Minnesota. And Minnesota beat them 105 to 104. D'Angelo Russell. That's a name you haven't heard in a very long time. D'Angelo Russell. 27 points, 12 assists. Carl Anthony Towns, 21 points, 11 assists. You tell me they combined for 48 points and 23 assists? That's crazy. Hold on, did I did, did, hmm. I think I wrote that wrong. I might have wrote that wrong. Are we sure that's 11 assists and not 11 rebounds? Hold on. Okay, it's 11 rebounds. My bad. I did write that wrong. Okay. 11 rebounds for Cat, not 11 assists. I'm, okay, I'm good. I went back and checked on that one. Hey, this is what I do. Hey, I, I made mistakes. My bad. 21 points and 11 boards for Cat. For Let's see. Mike Conley returned 26 points. For the Jazz to lead the way, but uh, really go bear 18 points. Perfect from the field from 8 to 8. Y'all missing Donald Mitchell. Y'all missing Donald Mitchell. I need, y'all need Donald Mitchell. Y'all need Donald Mitchell back. Oh, by the way, the Minnesota Timberwolves swept the Utah Jazz this season. The Minnesota Timberwolves have swept the best team in the NBA. Nobody would ever thought of that. Nobody. But look at Minnesota like, man, it's not y'all year, man. Y'all just y'all do what y'all do. And then y'all get better next year. But they can say they swept the best team in the NBA. Wow. Thinking some striking results here. The LA Clippers went down to the BBC to take on the New Orleans Pelicans. The Clippers took one on the chain because the Pelicans beat them. 120 to 103. Zion Williamson, 33 points. 5 assists. 23 points. 5 assists. I mean, what was that? Is that some help around here? Who didn't play for the, for the club? Paul George played. Reggie Jackson played. For one, of course, Kawhi Leonard is out. Rondo played. So the one person that didn't play was Kawhi Leonard. And y'all got to be like this. Zion Williamson, I already told y'all his stats. Let's see, Brandon Ingram, 17 points, 7 boys, 5 assists. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. All starters for the Pelicans scored in double figures. Paul had 18. Bledsoe had 18. Paul George only scored 9. Where's the Jets only scored 9? Well, we know why they lost this game. Paul George, Red Justin didn't show up in New Orleans. But LeVon... Alonzo Ball did, but Eric Bledsoe did. Mm-mm-mm. 
when La- when Alonzo Ball and Eric Bledsoe outdo Reggie Jackson and Paul George, something just doesn't seem right. But I'm gonna move on because we got one more game to talk about. And it was the Memphis Grizzlies who came off sweeping the Portland Trail Blazers in Portland for two games in a row. They were in Denver this time. And Denver gave them a and gave them what they deserved. They took out their frustrations on the Grizzlies. 120 to 96. And I mean they took out their frustration. They frustrated how they got whooped. And go and say, and they took it out on the Grizzlies. That's what you're supposed to do if you are top you one of the top teams in that conference. That's what you're supposed to do. We love John Morant. We love Dylan Brooks. We love Jaron Jackson Jr. We like Memphis. But if you're the Denver Nuggets and you got your ass whooped like you did in Golden State, you you whooped somebody else's ass. And that's what they did in Memphis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Memphis, but the schedule just made y'all the next victim. That's what that was. It was a victim of circumstances. They got their ass whooped, so they had to whoop somebody else's ass, and it happened have to be y'all. 120 to 96. Michael Porter Jr., 31.7 boys. The Joker. 24 points, 15 boys, 5 assists. I mean, things like that happen. Things like that happen. So now that I got you caught up on everything you need to be caught up on, Steph Curry has dropped 85 three-pointers in this damn month. 85 three-pointers in this month. He still got two more games to play. <laughs> he still has two more games to play. He's only 15 away from, from 100. Three pointers in a month. <laughs> he already has the most three pointers in a in a month span ever. <laughs> already. He surprised James Harden in 2019 with when James Harden did it for 84. Steph Curry's at 85. And he still had two more games left in his month. That is 255 points just on three pointers by itself. And this man like going for 10 threes a game. He has Dallas tonight and he's at Minnesota on the 29th. This man can actually hit 100 threes. This man can actually hit 100 threes in a month. Do y'all hear me? Steph Curry can hit 100 threes in one month. One freaking month. You know how ridiculous that sounds? I don't think y'all understand how ridiculous that sounds. If this man, this man can actually hit 100 threes in a month. 100 threes in a month. How insane is that? But it's Steph Curry. Like the greatest shooter I have ever watched in my entire life. And we talking 29 years worth going on 30. Even Stephen A, since Stephen A way older than me, he, he's the best shooter he ever laid his eyes on. Like this dude can shoot the freaking ball. <laughs> if he goes off for 10 threes against Dallas, he's going to hit 100 because he's going to hit five threes. Who gonna stop? Who on Minnesota is gonna stop it? Anthony Edwards, D'Angelo Russell. Even though D'Angelo Russell played with him at Golden State, but I don't think D'Angelo Russell will want anything at the show. Just, be honest. Who on Minnesota is gonna stop him if he hit 10 threes against Dallas? It's all about the Dallas game. It's all about the Dallas game tonight. That's part of my preview for tonight. Before I get to those, just look at these things. Like I said, we getting closer and closer to playing tournament and then the playoffs. So, shout out to Brooklyn taking the top spot in the East with the record of forty-one and twenty. Philadelphia game behind at forty and twenty-one. Shout out to y'all. New York and uh, Atlanta Hawks are tied at thirty-four and twenty-eight, but the Knicks have the lead, so they get the fourth spot. And right now, Atlanta's in the fifth spot right now. Boston, you, as of right now, you avoided a playing spot because you're the city, but Miami, Charlotte, Indiana, Washington, that's your 7, 8, 9, and 10. 
Chicago and Toronto on the outside looking in right now. Just a game behind the Washington Wizards. Got a lot of games to be left. For some reason, mathematically, I don't know. I know mathematically down the island there, but why the freak is Orlando in this damn stand? Why the hell is Detroit in this stand? Why in the hell is Cleveland in this damn stand? Cleveland, Detroit, and Orlando is not making the play in. Okay? Matter of fact, we just got done getting our ass with by the Lakers last night if you're the Orlando Magic. I had to talk about my Magic because I don't want to talk about my Magic. I get angry because it's stupid. We we is horrible. We have, we have we have, we'll have a couple of good seasons and we go back to being horrible. It's rough being a Magic. It, 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 it's rough being a Magic. But like I said, Orlando, Detroit, and Clemens don't even be in the standings. Knock them out. We don't want to see them. That's the easy. Let's 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 forget the West thing real quick. In the West, you know, as I said, the Utah Jazz number one team in the NBA, forty four and seventeen. They are the only team who actually clinch officially clinch a playoff spot. The Phoenix Suns behind them at forty three and eighteen. The Clippers right behind them at forty three and twenty. Denver forty and twenty one. The Lakers in the fifth spot still thirty six and twenty five. Dallas Mavericks just outside that bubble at number six. At 33 and 27. Portland, Memphis, San Antonio, and Golden State are in the playing tournament as of right now. As the Pelicans have some work to do. They are four games behind Golden State. They are four games behind Golden State. They have some work to do. Sacramento got some work to do. They are six games behind Golden State. Okay, see, you're done. Minnesota and Houston are already eliminated. So that's those those are your standards right there. So I hope you hope you got that. But now let's go ahead and preview what games to look forward to tonight. Tonight we have one game on NBA TV, and then the other game will be on TNT. And that game on NBA TV will happen at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as the Milwaukee Bucks head down to the Charlotte area to take on a Charlotte Hornets. Yantis into the coupo and the Bucks are taking on the up and coming Charlotte Hornets. Should be a good one. 7 p.m. media TV. You got a couple of teams that's in the playing tournament for their respective conferences at 7 p.m. down up in Indiana. Point of Trail Blazers, Damon Leonard and Stephen McCullough will lead the Blazers against the Indiana Pacers. That's at 7 p.m. The Toronto Raptors, who's trying to fight to get into the play in, they have to take down the Brooklyn Nets at 7 30. And then tonight on TNT, 9 30. You should already know what game it is. Already kind of the Dallas Mavericks are in the bay to take on Steph Curry in the Warriors. Can Luka Magic and the Mavs slow down Steph Curry? If they don't, Steph Curry's going to get them. He's going to get them, get them, get them. That's tonight's lineup. Tomorrow's lineup Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Wednesday, where I'm looking at. Oof. A crazy lineup here. 7 p.m. The Atlanta Hawks are at the Philadelphia Semi System. That can be a good win for Atlanta without Trey Young. They can pull it off. But we have to see who's going to play for the Philadelphia Semi Sisters. ESPN has your double header, 7 30. Los Angeles Lakers, AD. And the crew are in Washington to take on Bradley Bill, Russell Westbrook, and the Washington Wizards. Also at 7.30, Charlotte Hornets, Boston Celtics up in TD up in TD Garden in Boston. Madison Square Garden, those of you who up in New York, the Chicago Bulls are coming to town to take on the Knicks. 8 p.m., South Beach, Miami. The Heat take on the Spurs. Here come Craig Bobovich. I think Miami needs this win more than the Spurs do. Even though the Spurs are in a nice spot in the West and fighting for a playing spot, I get it. But Miami needs this win. They need some damn confidence. They need something. Tyler Hero and Duncan Robinson, they need, they need to get on track. Because if they don't, it's not going to be a good playoff seat, playoffs for the Miami Heat. So even though San Antonio is fighting, fighting to stay in the playing spot, Miami needs this game at home. They need this game at home. 9 p.m. Oh. So 
So we going from Portland down to Memphis now. The Portland Trailblazers are heading to Memphis. They take on the Grizzlies. So Grizzlies beat them twice in a row. Can Dame Dollar and CJ McCullough put it? Stop this stop this street that Memphis is on? We shall see. Also at nine. Zion Wilson is taking the Pelicans to face off with Jokic and the Nuggets. Oof. Oof. Pelicans need this one. But y'all playing Denver at the wrong time. The, the Pelicans need it, but you're playing the wrong team at the wrong time in the Denver Nuggets. Oh, my God. And then the night cap on ESPN. It's the L.A. Clippers. Paul George taking on Devin Booker and the Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns. Thursday. 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 NBA TV has your lone national televised game at it will be the Brooklyn Nets taking on the Indiana Pacers up in Indiana 7 p.m. And then those of you who are Steph Curry fans, as he tries to end his month with who knows how many three pointers. As they are in Minnesota to take on the Minnesota Timberwolves. That will be at 8 p.m. The Toronto Raptors. They are in a tough spot because they had to go to Denver at 9 p.m. In, in that game on Thursday. So. Those are the games you need to look out for. How many points? How many three points Steph Curry will hit in the month of April? We shall see. He's at 85 right now. And he's playing tonight at home against Dallas. And then he's at Minnesota on Thursday. So after Thursday's game, when I come back on the last day of April, April 30th, Friday morning, we will know how many three-pointers he has hit. And then we can recap those and look forward to the final few games that we have left. Because it'll be because we'll be right and hitting in April. We'll be in April and going into May. We get close to playoff time, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're excited because I am. I can't wait to see some playoff action. But until then. Down at the Playmaker Signs out here in Jacksonville, Florida. I am signing off to Friday for more Hoops Talk. Deuces. Woo. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode as much as I enjoy bringing it to you. So if you want to stay updated and know when new episodes of Hoops Talks come out, subscribe and follow to the podcast. You can do this on Google Podcasts, Spotify, Speaker.com, by any of your favorite platforms, including iTunes slash Apple Podcasts. And for those of you who are listening on iTunes and Apple Podcasts, go ahead and drop a rate and review of the podcast to let us know how we're doing and how we can improve. And for those of you who want to see any other podcasts that we got going on, go ahead and subscribe to our website, theplaymakersblog.com, and you can see all the podcasts that we do. Until next time for Hoops Talk. It's your boy, the playmaker, Dinah Salah, signing off.